Will you marry me? Hey. Oh, talk about being in your masculine energy. She got down on one knee and proposed to him. Whoa. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comments, but why would you propose to him when you don't have the second wife situation worked out? His family doesn't approve of you, even though you've been doing the most in Nigeria. You met with the mom twice to get the approval. She rejected you both times, and she revealed that she wants him to be with his cousin on some weird Game of Thrones incest my prescription for Stan as a professional reviewer is to spend money on therapy sessions so that you can love yourself before you're ready to love somebody else. Because you need to do a lot of extensive therapy if you're just willing to take the back seat and shell out this much for a dude that obviously doesn't care about you. If marrying you is what to make you happy in this life, I'm ready to marry you. <laughs> if marrying you makes you happy in this life, then I'm willing to do it. Not that it makes him happy. This is sad to watch. Like, this is one of the most pathetic things I've ever seen in my life. Episode 11 of 90 Day Fiance Happily Ever After opens up with Elizabeth and Andre. She's really snippy and makes a face like she's constantly smelling a fart. And Andre is a Neanderthal that has anger management problems. No, that looks stupid. I don't like this. We will make your damn signs and don't involve me in this crap. Next, we see Usman in Santa, Nigeria. She's like, Usman, aka Soldier Boy, I'm not gonna settle for being the second wife because I wanna be the first wife. Right now, Kim and Usman are leaving the conversation that they left with his brother and his mother, where she once again got rejected and didn't receive the blessing to be the first wife. Kimbele is etra on edge right now because Usman's actually going to meet up with a girl that his mother's trying to set him up with, and she happens to be a local girl from her region that's young and able to give him children. I didn't expect this meeting to end with his mom wanting Usman to go meet somebody she wants to set him up with. As a first wife and I'm a little upset that he didn't insist that I become the first wife in this meeting. Usman communicated that to Kim, but what he left out is a very important piece of information, and that's that this girl is his cousin on his father's side. So his rapper name's Usman, aka Soldier Boy, but I think he should probably change it to Usman, aka Incest Boy. <laughs> I will never disobey my mom for any human being on this earth. I understand. Good. Well, it's up for baby girl Lisa because you already walked down the aisle with her in a previous season. People don't forget. <laughs> Babe, what if my mom said that I cannot marry you until I manifest. Like I said in my last video on these two, Usman's really good at manipulating Kim and redefining what her boundaries are. And as annoying as it is to watch as a viewer, it's clearly working because before she said she's not willing to compromise and she wants to be the first wife or she's gonna break up with him. And now she's saying, I don't know what's gonna happen if I'm not the first wife. Before we continue reviewing this trash TV show, I'd like to tell you about today's video sponsor, Established Titles. Established Titles is based on a historic Scottish custom where landowners were referred to as lords and ladies. And they allow you to buy one square foot of land in Scotland in order to refer to yourself as either a lord or a lady. Now in return, they commit to planting a tree for every order. Established Titles works with global charities such as One Tree Planted and Trees for Future to support global restoration efforts. But hands down bar none, the coolest part about getting your certificate is that you can officially change your name to lord or lady. This also means you can get the title lord on your plane tickets and credit cards. And the good news is the first 200 people to use my link in the bio of this video to purchase their plot of land will effectively be next to my plot of land. Within a few minutes walking distance, since from your wet Dougal Mackenzie over here, I'm excited to be neighbors, my fellow lords and ladies. If y'all want to get started with established titles, go to establishedtitles.com slash your wet sock and use code your wet sock for 10% off of all items. What if that is the final answer? Are I you leaving me? I don't know. You leaving me? I don't know. Also, it's worth mentioning that during the end of the episode, we see a preview of the next episode when Usman actually meets up with this girl his mother's trying to set him up with. That's his cousin. And it's not looking good for Kim. If we're just going based off appearances, she might want to book her flight right now. We can straight up see from the preview of the next episode that Usman tells this girl that she's beautiful and asks for her phone number, which is especially messed up because in the same episode, Kim proposes to Usman and he says yes. So at the time when he's meeting up with his cousin that he's trying to bang out, he's an engaged man. I'm scared. It scares me. Like, what if you meet this girl and you like her? <laughs> How many times can we watch this girl say that she's not comfortable being a sister wife without actually saying it? Think about how the kind of stages we pass through mm -hmm. before we get to this place. How do you think I'll just meet a lady because she's young or maybe she's beautiful then boom? It's not possible. <laughs> Well, that didn't age well, stop it. I love when dudes say that physical appearances don't really matter, it's about what's within. It's no different than that one dude on Love is Blind that looks like the evolved version of Hey Arnold's best friend. What's his name, Barnacle or some shit? Barista? Y'all probably know I'm talking about this guy from Love is Blind season three that glorifies Raven based on her looks. And it's funny because this girl disrespected the fuck out of you when y'all were in the pods and you were pouring your heart out about your sad story when you discovered that your dad had an affair
there. She was doing a whole P90X5 workout. If a guy or a girl says looks don't matter, they're absolutely trolling and trying to save face. It's obvious that you have to be physically attracted to who your partner is. I am saying that we need to respect mom. Right. Let me do what she asked me to do. Is it funny too how every time Kim says that she's gonna leave Usman, she ends up not leaving because he convinces her to stay and then once again treats her like shit. And for her, I just wanna say the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again. Maybe if I let you go and do this and meet this woman with your mom, and then she, you know, you could say like, Kimberly wasn't happy about it, but Kimberly respects you. I'm, yes. Yeah, like this is okay, you know, I get like, it. Like she likes you for who you are. And I know. She, I think she's going to accept you, but like, okay, just do this for me now. Kim's such an easy target. And I saw in my last video, a couple people had a problem with me saying that she's a cringe old lady. Is she a cringe young lady? Does this look like a young lady to you guys? And then informs Usman, aka Incest Boy, that she wants to have a private conversation with her son Jamal about her and Usman's relationship. Hate to see a poor Jamal, right? He's the only person I feel bad for in this situation because he was forced to mature at a young age because of his mother's lack of emotional intelligence. And I'm very confident that I'm not the only person that feels like it's not Jamal's responsibility to give his mother relationship advice. If anything, it should be reversed. Can and says to the audience, I hope letting Usman go on this date shows his mom how much I love him and she gives me the blessing to be the first wife. <laughs> Realistically, my question for Kim is how is he gonna treat you any differently when you become the first wife? If he's already treating you like this now, I don't think much is gonna change. Also, as we've seen from Chantal and Pedro's relationship, a little throwback to them, all Usman has to do is stick it out for two years. Then once he renews the green card for another 10 years, she's financially responsible for him even if they split up. How messed up would it be if Usman got the green card before Michael? Kim goes on to say to the audience, I'm feeling really insecure because he's going to meet this potential wife, so I gotta do something big he won't forget. I'm sure y'all see where this is going. Kim is gonna propose to Usman. Kim constantly tries to prove to Usman, his family, and the entire audience that every course of action she takes in this relationship is from her heart, when it's very clear that she has ulterior motives. For example, proposing to Usman so that he doesn't meet up with her potential sister wife. The old guilt trip, if I do something really nice for him, he won't do something that's mean to me. <laughs> from the looks of things, Kim went to party Nigeria because she got confetti, rose petals, fucking glitter, just doing the most to put in work and effort in this relationship that's not gonna be reciprocated. She decorated the room to pop the question and when Usman finally arrived, she prepared him a little speech. You know I love you, right? I'm probably gonna cry. I know you love me. You know how much I love you. I love you too, babe. Uh-huh. Like more than you probably even know. I know you love me. Okay. And we've been through a lot. Watching Kim is actually healthy for all of us. It's very similar to when I watched Nick Hikado Avocado eat himself into an early grave and then immediately work out after. I don't think it was intentional on her part, but she's shown us firsthand what an embarrassing look desperation is. So actually we should express a little bit of gratitude to Kim and clap it up for her because someone has to fall on the sword so that the rest of us can learn from their mistakes. Regardless of anything that happens, I want you to know that I'm always gonna be here. I'm always, I'm not going anywhere. If marrying you is what to make you happy in this life, Oh, what about when he said if marrying you is what makes you happy in this life? Ah, someone says this to you, you gotta take back the ring and go and pawn it right away. And would you believe it? Just when we thought it couldn't get any worse, Usman informs Kim that he still plans on meeting up with this cousin that his mom's trying to set him up with. That I did this big grand gesture last night. And you know I love it. And seeing you get ready for this today is like, it's like a slap in my face. Also, I don't know if I mentioned this, but at this time, Kim does not know that this girl he's planning on meeting up with and his mom's trying to set him up with is his cousin. So let's just add that to the lie count for Usman. Kim can't even hide how butthurt she is that Usman's still planning to go meet up with this girl despite her proposing to him. So she calls up her son Jamal to vent to him. It's been... Rough. When Kim explains to Jamal that Usman's gonna go meet up with the woman that his mother's trying to set him up with, Jamal responds, what the fuck, I'm sorry. Then he immediately asks his mom if she's okay with that. Kim then responds, it's their culture, Jamal, trying to justify this one-sided relationship for the hundredth time. Something I've learned about Kim for making these videos on her and Usman's relationship is that she doesn't know one thing she's talking about and she doesn't form her own opinion, she just regurgitates whatever Usman tells her. This girl told the audience that she read the Muslim scriptures, meaning the Quran, and in the same sentence said that the women in Nigeria were brought up to be breeders, and also added that her position as the first wife gives her authority over the other sister wives. Something to not be true, because if you read the verse in the Quran, it says that all the women have to be treated justly and equally. The man has to provide for every single one of them. Something that you would figure out if you just use Google and typed it in, because you don't actually have to go to the public library anymore. Jamal then asked his mom the same question we had, what's the point of being the first wife? Because it seems like there's no benefits to actually being the first wife, and she's just gonna be treated 
treated the same as she's treated now. And then Kimberly gets all defensive while hitting her vape and is like, I've thought this through, Jamal. You know, I bought all that stuff to like the engagement stuff. You know, I bought banners and streamers. I'm gonna send you that video. I love how Kim's like, I'm gonna send you that video. And from Jamal's face, you can gather that he's like, say less, mom, I don't wanna see that video. Good news socks, a new clip of Usman meeting up with his cousin that he's trying to smash has surfaced on the internet. Let's take a look at that right now. So in a part of Usman, the socks and Jenshi, she did put it The clip is up in the name of she. The moms then bounce so that they can give Usman and his cousin time to get to know each other. We then learn from this girl's mother that she's 18 years old, which is pretty young. I'm hoping that this isn't a forced marriage situation because I don't agree with the young girl being used as a tool for pregnancy. And I say this because multiple times Usman's mother has made it very clear that she wants him to end up with a young girl that can give him children so that she has grandchildren. And I get that, but we have to remember that this girl is a person and her whole sense of worth shouldn't be based on giving your son a child. <laughs> Huh, Usman's mature and responsible. That's funny, mom. Have you not watched the show? Like he's manipulated Ken this entire time. I don't know why as a mother, you would want to subject your daughter to that. And you would think that if your daughter looks like this, she has other options. Do you really want her to be in this weird love triangle with Usman and Kim? I don't want Parida. No, I like her. I like her, I know. Okay, right away we can see this girl's very shy, nervous, young, and I do think that we haven't seen Usman in a relationship with a girl that wasn't over 50. So it is very possible that just based off her looks, he treats her completely differently than he's treated Kim. Also, not to be messy, but did anyone else notice that Usman isn't wearing his ring that Kim got him? Usman then says, I wanted to leave as soon as I got here, but seeing your beauty got me excited. The compliment works, she's big gushing, and we can see that she has a gold tooth. Usman then says that this girl's very beautiful, but he wants to know her character, and if he didn't already meet Kim, this is the kind of girl he would want to go with. And as we know, if Kim was an American, he wouldn't be with her because then he wouldn't be able to go on the show for another season and promote his music. This is a tricky situation because Usman knows that he's never going to find another girl like him that's that easy to manipulate and that desperate. So he has to explain to this girl like, hey, we just have to kind of pretend that she's the main wife for about two or three years tops. <laughs> Wow, do you try to ego that? You probably know me from my music, right? And the girl's like, nah, you came to my house when I was like 12 and you were like in your 20s. I'm like an influencer, bro. This man's acting like he's CK or something. You can tell that he's been dating a fan for two years because Kim absolutely gasses him the fuck up. This girl isn't. She goes on to say that she's excited to have children and hopefully Usman is her husband sometime in the future. And I just want to say, I am so excited for her and Kim to be in the same room. This is going to be the funniest shit when they actually meet up in real life. Super thankful for y'all watching my videos comment below subscribe let's be friends follow me on twitch and on instagram right now